CBS News 24-7, keeping our promise to you. When we see it, you're going to see it. Our video feeds just caught this video. President Joe Biden on his way to Texas. The president is now in the air as we speak. You see him stepping off that helicopter. From there, it was Air Force One. Once that flight lands, the president will go directly to Lyndon B. Johnson Presidential Library, where they are marking 60 years since the passage of the Civil Rights Act. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's op-ed in the Washington Post today is what's making headlines. So here's what it's all about. The president pushing for a constitutional amendment to limit immunity for presidents. He's also calling for reform for the Supreme Court. He says he wants term limits for the justices. In fact, he says if presidents have 75 years of term limits, so should the justices. Biden also says Supreme Court justices should be held to a code of ethics required to disclose gifts and then recuse themselves from certain cases. Mr. Biden says this is just common sense. Well, let's bring some common sense to the conversation. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson joining me live on the stream right now. The president makes a very strong case for two changes. Let's first of all break down presidential immunity. How likely is it that he will be able to get anything done in the rest of his term on this point? Uh, well, none of this is likely, let's be honest, not just this term, but frankly, next term as well. And when we're talking about a constitutional amendment, which is what he's suggesting to overturn the Supreme Court's recent decision in the presidential immunity case, that is a very difficult road. And it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be difficult to change our federal constitution. But we're talking about needing the type of consensus that we just haven't seen in decades, frankly. So... None of this is realistic, but all of it is important to have a conversation about the current Supreme Court. All right, so let's talk about this, the changes to the Supreme Court. What are the nuts and bolts where that's concerned? And I guess a follow-up question to that, is this just really a driver for the narrative on the campaign trail, a talking point? So I'm going to go with door number two first in the sense that I think this is a talking point. Now, this is, however, something that President Biden talked about at the very beginning of his term. He put together a commission of some of the nation's experts on the Supreme Court. They put out a report and then nothing happened and nothing has happened for about two to three years now. Now, I think that the politics and the election cycle and all these things have collided and President Biden is now seriously talking about this, but let's discuss term limits for a moment. Now, it's not even clear that this can be accomplished through the legislative process. There is an argument that you need a constitutional amendment for this as well. And I don't think that the political will is there. All of this is a push by Democrats and progressives who are very upset with current Supreme Court case law and decisions and the behavior of some Supreme Court justices. But Term limits has political and legal issues. An ethics code has political and legal issues. There are separation of powers concerns when we're talking about the legislative branch and the president saying, we are going to mandate a code of ethics that applies to the top of the judicial branch. Um, so it's, it's a campaign narrative, it's a policy narrative, it's all those things, but there's a lot of hurdles here. Bottom line, can't start the car until you build the engine. Jessica Levinson, thank you so much for that perspective today. We appreciate you.